Good afternoon, Flagler County. This is Sheriff Rick Staley with a community update for Thursday, July 30th. As of this morning, Flagler County is at 850 positive cases of COVID-19 overall and 75 total hospitalizations with 12 deaths. Over 13,250 people have been tested with about 6.4% testing positive. Flagler County has begun distributing a portion of the Coronavirus Aid Relief Economic Security or CARES Act federal stimulus money to eligible businesses and individuals negatively impacted by COVID-19. For more information or to fill out the online application, visit flaglercounty.org or call the helpline at 386-586-2324 and press zero. If you have school-aged children, Flagler Schools announced this week that it will push the school start date back to August 24th for students. All sports programs are canceled for the fall semester. Visit flaglerschools.com for more information or to view the new school calendar. Public COVID-19 testing is now located at Cattlemen's Hall at the Flagler County Fairgrounds and will operate Monday through Wednesday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. with the ability to test 200 people per day. To schedule an appointment for testing, call 386-313-4200. Additional options for testing through the Department of Health include Santa Maria Del Mar Catholic Church in Flagler Beach, drive through site operating Mondays from 4.30 p.m. to 6 p.m. First United Methodist Church in Bunnell, drive through site operating Wednesday from 4.30 p.m. to 6 p.m. Flagler Pharmacy in Flagler Beach, walk-up site operating Thursdays from 8.30 a.m. to 10 a.m. In Church on the Rock in Bunnell, drive-through site operating Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Each of these sites can test up to 60 people per event. Test results will be available 10 days after testing. Appointments are now required. Call 386-313-4200 to schedule an appointment. You can also make an appointment with your primary health care provider, the Florida Department of Health in Bunnell, or an urgent care center. The countywide resolution recommending to wear cloth face coverings indoors when social distancing is not possible is ongoing in an effort to help slow the spread of this virus. If we were thinking that we've had just about enough in 2020, just remember that we are right in the middle of hurricane season. Tropical storm warnings have already been issued for the Caribbean. Heavy rainfall can be expected in our area this weekend and into early next week as a tropical storm is now expected to closely follow the eastern coast of Florida. There is also an elevated possibility for rip currents and strong surf in the ocean. So if you're planning to visit the beaches or go surfing, be extra careful. Let this storm be a reminder that now is the time to be sure you have a plan in place and have your hurricane supplies on hand. This should include non-perishable food and water to last three days, a first aid kit, personal hygiene items, flashlights with extra batteries, medications, and any other important items you may need for yourself, your family, or your pets. With all that is going on this year, I, like you, are glad to be a part of and serve this community. Our community has shown again and again that during hard times, we all pull together to support each other. Finally, I'm proud to share with you that crime is down 47% since I became your sheriff in 2017. This is due to the hard work by the men and women of the sheriff's office, but also to the dedication of the community to partner alongside us to focus on safety and being the eyes and ears in the community and notifying us when something is out of place. Please continue to follow the See Something, Say Something initiative and help us keep Flagler County a safe place to live, work, and visit. Follow us to stay up to date on our social media platforms or at flaglersheriff.com forward slash coronavirus. You can also download the Flagler County Sheriff's app in the App Store or Google Play to stay up to date. Thank you and have a great weekend.